have a number of electrons and protons in your nucleus. This newly charged atom, ion is its name. Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about the difference between compounds, mixtures, and elements. While doing this video, I'll cover the next door point, which is all about where we can actually find these compounds and mixtures and elements. So I'll read the actual door point. It says, identify that the biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere contain examples of mixtures of elements and compounds. So first of all, the, the, the verb is identify. So all we have to do is name that the, and then we have to name that the biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere contain examples of these mixtures of elements and compounds. So first of all, obviously, what is exactly is the biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere? These are the things here. So if you can imagine our place where we live, our Earth itself, we have the air around us. So that is the atmosphere. So anything in this area, which is the atmosphere, is considered the atmosphere. So the air is mostly the atmosphere. Now the biosphere, this is the region where living things are found. And you think about the, if, where can we find living things? Well, we can find living things, some of them in the atmosphere, some on the ground, some inside rock, and some inside water. So the biosphere is just any area where we can find it. And that usually is parts of the biosphere, atmosphere, lithosphere, and hydrosphere make up the biosphere. So it's usually like a area around it. The lithosphere was the Earth's crust. So this is more or less our soil and all that kind of stuff. Soil, the beach, so anything that is not the atmosphere or the water. So anything in that area is the lithosphere. And we've got the hydrosphere. Hydro means water. So this has to do with where water can be found. So regions where water can be found. That could be, for example, the ocean, which would be this. But it could also be a lake or even an underground water supply. These are all the examples of the hydrosphere. So what we have to do is we have to identify that the biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere contain examples of mixtures of elements and compounds. So identify just means we need to name or be able to say that, yes, there are mixtures and compounds in these different areas. So I'll start with the biosphere. And again, the biosphere, the bio means living. This has all to do with living things. So the area, so again, the biosphere was this circle here. It, it's part of the lithosphere. It's part of the hydrosphere. It's part of the atmosphere. And also, whatever we can find. So the internal environment, internal means inside, the internal environment of living things. So what we can find inside living things, so in our bodies. And all these things make up the biosphere. So, for example, we can find carbon dioxide in the biosphere. Carbon dioxide, that's in the air we breathe. And that trees also need to be able to make sugar, and we'll go over that soon. But this is an example of a compound, right? Because this had two different types of atoms, the carbons and oxygen atoms, which makes it a compound. In this case, it's a molecular compound because they're bonded together. We have oxygen. Now, oxygen, again, we can also find oxygen in our actual air, but we can find oxygen in the air we live in, so the atmosphere, but also the hydrosphere. And oxygen was an example of an element, because even though it says O2, there's only one type of atom in it, which makes an element. Now, H2O, this is obviously water itself, and water we can find in the biosphere, we can find it inside our bodies. The vast majority of our body is made up of water, but we can also find it in the actual rivers we might live in, or in the wa in the actual air itself, rain or vaporized water particles. So we can find quite a bit of water. And glucose, this is an example of glucose. Glucose is our food. Quite a bit of our food is glucose. And glucose is the example, again, of the compound. Why is it a compound? Well, it has carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens, three different types of atoms, which make it it makes it a compound. Anything that has more than one different type of atom is a compound. So water, glucose, carbon dioxide, and this one up here as well. This is an amino acid. Uh, you will hear more about amino acids, especially if you do biology as well. Amino acids is all to do with our body. Proteins are made up of amino acids. And these amino acids have nitrogen, the thing I'm circling now. It has these hydrogens, and it has carbon and oxygen. So these are the building blocks of, of amino acids, which make proteins, and they are really important. We can find them all over living things, because all living things need to have lots of these proteins to be able to survive. So this is the actual makeup of things in our body. So these, are, these elements make up our body. 60% of 
of all of weight wise this is in terms of weight and oxygen is a bit heavier than nitrogen but 60% of our body is oxygen 21% of our body is carbon 12% of our body is, is hydrogen and 3.5% is nitrogen so all up that's about 95% and as you can see we have all the things that are in the biosphere you know the food we eat or the elements that we breathe in so for example our oxygen or the water we drink or the amino acids we might eat for food as well all of them have that these these come from all of this food that we and the water we drink and the air we breathe in we need that in our body so that was the biosphere the biosphere is obviously very important for living things the lithosphere this is to do with the earth's crust so you can think of the again the soil or the beach which has all that sand and, and all that kind of stuff that makes up the lithosphere so on this picture this part here from here to there and from here to there so the sand included all that's lithosphere and lithosphere we've got different kinds of again different kinds of compounds and elements for example we can find AU and AG these were symbols for AU was gold and AG was silver and these often come by themselves so these are not as compounds but these are as elements so we can find these kind of elements by themselves but we can also find other things which are come as compounds so for example this is silicon dioxide so it has one silicon and two oxygen molecules within its actual compound and that's why it's a compound it has two different types of elements that make up its structure which is why it's a compound as opposed to AU and AG these are all elements because they only have one type and this is actually this is sand so this is this is silicon dioxide and you might know that because this is sand and sand is really common when it comes to the earth itself and this is citrate citrite and this has again this is a compound and we can find that a lot of our rocks are this so for example we've got calcium carbon and oxygen three different types of elements which make it a compound and this would be normal rocks rocks would be this this kind of compound so quite a bit of our earth's crust the rocks in earth's crust are this kind of substance which we call citrite and then this is malite malite which is again a different type of compound so the reason why it's a compound is because it has three iron and four oxygens but more importantly it has two different types of atoms both Fe which is iron so it's supposed to be E Fe and oxygen and together they form a compound called malate and that is found again it's, many of our rocks are this compound so lithosphere consists of different types of elements and compounds such as the ones we mentioned earlier and the atmosphere in the atmosphere itself we've got lots of different gases mostly in our atmosphere so for example we have the most this is about 78 percent of what we breathe in it's actually not carbon dioxide or oxygen it's actually nitrogen so 78 percent of the, the air we breathe in consists of n2 which is an element the reason why it's an element is because it has only nitrogen now oxygen this is also again an element because even though there's two of them they're all the same the same element so it stays a pure substance and we can find O2 and N2, so nitrogen and oxygen gas, all over our atmosphere. Now carbon dioxide, only about 0.1% of our air is carbon dioxide, but it is really important actually for the plants to be able to produce photos photosynthesis, which makes sugar. But this here is a compound. So even though it's a gas, it's a compound. The reason why it's a compound is because it has one carbon and two oxygen has two different types of atoms which make it a compound and we've got water H2O this can be actually this is in this case is actually because we find it in the atmosphere which is the stuff above the earth itself this is actually gas when it comes to the atmosphere but it's also a compound the reason why it's a compound is because it has these hydrogens and oxygens two different types of, of atoms in its structure and then we have O3. Now you might have heard of this before. This is ozone. 
and this is an element. And the reason why it's an element is because even though it has three oxygens, they're all the same, which makes it an element. But O3 is actually really important to, pre to help us prevent damage from the sun. So it, is, it absorbs UV rays, so O3 is quite important. Now the hydrosphere, which was either the ocean, the lake, so any lake or river, or the groundwater. So anywhere we can find water is the hydrosphere. And we can find, obviously, 98% of the hydrosphere is made up of water, which makes sense. And we can find that either in the form of ice, we can find that in the form of liquid water, or of water vapor. So that means, like, gaseous water. 98% of it is, is actual water that we can find in the hydrosphere. And that's obviously, again, that's a compound. It has more than one different type. And oxygen, we can find dissolved oxygen in water itself. And oxygen was an element because it has only one different type of atom. And carbon dioxide, we can find dissolved gases of carbon dioxide. And this was a compound because it has more than one different type. And then 1% one, 1 of all, especially of the ocean, so because sodium NaCl is, is salt, sodium chloride, and 1% of the ocean comes is made up of this sodium chloride. And this was an example of a compound. But if you remember from the last video, this was an ionic compound because they're actually not held together by these covalent bonds, but by these attractions, these positive and negative attractions, which we could, that's why we call it not a molecular compound, but an ionic compound. But we'll go over that very soon as well. Right, so this was the, uh, the top one was identified that the biosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere contain examples of mixtures of elements and compounds. So these were the different ones, the biosphere, lithosphere, atmosphere, and the hydrosphere. And we explained what they were as well in terms of what parts of the, of the actual Earth itself they are. And then we went through a couple of examples. There are more, these are not all of them, but there are more examples as well. But these are just a couple of the very important examples of what kind of elements and compounds we can find in each of these areas. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.